Tommy, that was a good way to end the season. A positive um, way to end the season. You know, we we would have preferred obviously the like the three points. And you know, I don't think um, Harvey Sullins in particular has done anything wrong throughout the whole game. But he's took a gamble on that one. The right back stepped in, and to be honest with you, to to concede a goal from the right back, who's what struck it from what 25, 30 yards. It's gone right in the bottom corner. And other than that, I thought we I thought we were good good money for our for our three points at that point. Considering as well that you had to make five changes before the game because of several injuries there, and you put a couple of young lads on the bench, it was a very good result. It was, you know, and obviously we knew we were coming here today without a Trotman, without a Galbraith, without a Gillies, but then to lose Wheatley is uh, from a fitness test as well. Again, you know, that, that was another like sucker punch really. But you know, when you've got players like uh, Dave Sayers and uh, Phil Turnbull that were going to be on the bench today, um, it was positive. You know, Mitchell Glover. Still only 16s, played the full 90 minutes, and we've, I say, managed to get two Darlow lads on as teenagers. And you know, although the ref killed them by not playing any injury time, they got on, and you know, and that's they'll remember that their debut was at Stockport County with 6,000 people, and not many teenagers at this level of football will achieve that. It was a good goal by Tom O'Donnell, the scorer, wasn't it? Typical opportunist goal by him. Well, we spoke about that in the in the build-up. You know, that was why we tweaked the shape a little bit to play um, like two box-to-box midfielders, if you like. We spoke about them playing the straight balls into midfield and to press them. We pressed them high. We obviously took the ball off them. Um, Starshi fed Tomo, and obviously Tomo at that point, I think he you you, you, like, you do expect him to to bury them. So delighted that he's finished with a goal today. I say, and to be honest with you, I think. There was a lot of positives today, and it was it was good that we we had a healthy crowd uh, t- to do it in front of. I've got to say there was at least 500 Dallow fans here. You know, <clears throat> remember some of them paid for the bus to come over, which again, huge generosity, and the booster budget is zooming towards nearly 80,000 pounds. It's incredible, isn't it? It is incredible, and I, I keep saying it that the the fans never seem to surprise me. It's almost that uh, we will not be beaten uh, attitude by them. I think if when they get set a target. They hit the target. It's almost like a, a personal pride thing. You know, we spoke about personal pride in our team talk. You know, having nothing to ride on the game, but you know, your own performance and a, a team performance to you know give the fans something back. And I think the lads did that today. They showed a lot of heart, um, a lot of character to to come here when you've got nothing to play for and, and to put on a relatively decent performance. The final position is probably going to be 13th. It's uh, it'd be something you'd be looking to improve upon for next season. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, I said to you, you know, it wasn't an achievement to, to finish 19th. It wasn't, you know, if we finished 11th, 12th or 19th, down to 19th, it wasn't an achievement for us. You know, we know that that squad, when it was assembled last summer, was supposed to be a playoff squad. Obviously, what happened in between that wasn't good enough. Um, we know that. Obviously, we've gone through a big transition. And I think people let you forget that quickly, the fact that, what that what's happened over a season. But we have... Well, you look at the league table now. You know, after having a really frustrating, poor season, if you like, we've we've been quite close, and I think that shows what this league's all about. Anybody can beat anybody, and I think we take that positivity into next year. Do you look back at certain moments and think, if only? <clears throat> yes, but at the same time, you know, when we when, when we were losing a game at Leamington, who would have thought at that point that we would have gone on the run that we did? Saying, so, I think we've had our last-minute goals to to give us points and to give us maximum points but we have thrown some away and obviously recently you know I do think that we have took our foot off the pedal a little bit I think the Boston one was probably a turning point for us where a lot of the players probably sensed that they'd blown it like any kind of playoff hope but as it turned out you know we did have extra games to go other teams above us have completely wobbled um, and you know maybe we missed an opportunity but like I say we have spoken about next year. We will take what we've what we've what we've gained and put together into the in, into the new season. I think the lads will be looking forward to their break. Um, anticipate. I think everybody's going to anticipate. You know what what are we going to do in the off season? And I think at the minute everyone's guessing. And I think that's what adds to the excitement.